is luxury? It seems to be everywhere these days, from the usual suspects of fashion, cars and yachts, to property, jets and even puddings. Yes, pudding. I'm sure I could go into a, into a pound shop somewhere and find an item that's got the word luxury on it. So is the term used too freely these days? Or is it all just a ploy to get us to part with more cash? Luxury is now used for marketing purpose. So everybody's trying to sell something to make it look surreal. So at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that something expensive is actually luxurious. So what then does luxury truly mean? In this series of Inside Luxury, we gain exclusive access to industry experts and brand leaders and take a look at the high levels of craftsmanship, skill and passion that goes into creating these beautiful and often remarkable items. Haute Couture, I think that first is the way how you think, you know? And um, it's, it's um, the fashion done with all materials, all uh, the savoir-faire of a high, high level. And of course, the best designer would do a couture. We ask those in the know what luxury means to them and what truly deserves the luxury tag. Uh, luxury is not about a specific uh, watch or a specific car or even a specific uh, super yacht. Uh, luxury is really achieving a level of uh, service and comfort that makes you uh, feel special. You could ask a kid that lives in an Indian city what he thinks luxury is and you can ask one of my clients, they're going to be very, very different stories. So sometimes luxury is intended like a little bit like ostentation, uh, bling bling. I, I don't think that luxury is like this, it's exactly the opposite. It's quality, it's elegance, it's style. But these are the opinions of people surrounded by luxury on a daily basis. Do the general public have a different view on luxury? Luxury, um, having money left over at the end of every month to spend on clothes. Uh, having the freedom to get whatever you want, whenever you need it. More than what I need, you know, more than surplus to requirements. Nice house, nice smells, nice cars, just uh, being happy and comfortable. Something that uh, is beyond what you need to live a normal life. Luxuries, fast cars, fast women and big yachts. Luxury is a park bench, beautiful summer's day, with pigeons flying overhead and squirrels eating nuts on the lawn. So from fast cars to squirrels, the personal definition of luxury can vary greatly. In the show we take a deeper look at the psychology behind wealth, our desire to obtain it and the mindset of those for whom luxury is the norm. People who have money in as, sort of as a heritage will dress accordingly, often go for the quality. They don't necessarily, particularly royal, royalty, they don't want to be too ostentatious because they are head of state. They want to make the ordinary person feel comfortable. But it's not all about opulence and excess. As Ben Parker once said, with great power comes great responsibility. And we meet with some of those individuals using their wealth and position to help those less fortunate than themselves. On March the 14th, 2015, a Category 5 cyclone that was later designated as Cyclone Pam ran straight over the top of Vanuatu. Vanuatu is a very remote island chain about a thousand miles east of the east coast of Australia. We felt that we had to come and help them. Uh, we're obviously a very resourceful entity as a super yacht with a highly skilled crew, uh, tenders, the ability to make lots of fresh water and we just want to come down and do what we can to help these, these people. So whether luxury to you is a tangible symbol of material success or a more spiritual representation of life and experiences, join us as we take you on a journey inside luxury.